Hello everyone, John Joker 12 back here again with another video, and today it's time for some more Batman vs Superman Justice League news. Basically, DC and Warner Brothers have been working hard to try to craft out a good uh, lineup for a good cinematic universe. Of course, for the years uh, have gone by, the big thing of today is, of course, them have various movie franchises have their own cinematic universe, so everybody can just live amongst each other and just. Everybody can make good money, because that's what really matters in this world. Anyways, today, I it's very... I like to make the point is that the, the stuff I'm about to say isn't concrete news, but it's very, very likely that this is plausible. This is very, very possible. You know, it's just one of those things where I just wanted to point out right out of the, right out of the bat that as much as this sounds pretty cool and awesome, it is alleged... So, obviously, don't go full on gun hole on the whole subject if it pisses you off by any means. Personally, to me, regardless if it's true or false, or just uh, rumored, it personally sounds pretty badass to me. So, basically, we all know that Batman vs. Superman is the first DC crossover movie to come out um, post Man of Steel, and they're se it's the second film for their for DC cinematic universe. So obviously we know that Batman vs Superman can obviously have the the two big, you know, DC superheroes, you know, they're just going to clash together. But of course we're going to feature some other characters, you know, like Cyborg and Wonder Woman. So obviously that will lead up to the Justice League movie, which will apparently supposedly be released a year later on 2017. And that's pretty badass in and of itself. And it makes sense. I mean, a lot of people uh, speculated that most than likely the film would be released sometime in 2017 or as of late 2018. But it, I guess it makes sense that it would be shot and it would be filmed, um, well, not filmed, uh, shown in theaters a year after uh, Batman vs. Superman. It personally makes sense to me because Zack Snyder, who's going to be directing both films, will be obviously having both of them filmed back to back so everything makes sense in my opinion it doesn't really bother me that uh, that they're only gonna have a year apart of each other personally that seemed pretty cool in my opinion I, I have no fault with it but the big thing is is that uh, supposedly uh, D, uh, we've gotten a lineup for the first phase slash second phase of Just League Cinematic Universe, which is pretty interesting. So, obviously, the, the big one that's coming up in 2016 will be Batman vs. Superman. And then two films prior to Just League uh, will be featuring a Shazam movie and a Sandman movie. And then the Just League movie, which is pretty fucking badass. I, I, when I first read that, I was like, wow, really? Shazam and Sandman? That's pretty badass. I mean, personally... I love Shazam. He's pretty fucking cool. He's just an awesome... Or Captain Marvel, depending on which one you rather choose. And personally, it kind of makes sense, seeing as how Dwayne The Rock Johnson... A lot of people have been wanting him to, um, to play Black Adam. And he has been in talks with a big DC movie. So I, it kind of makes sense that he would be featured somewhere in this cinematic universe. And if he's in Shazam, th that would be awesome. And, it, and personally, it would make sense that... There will be a Shazam movie. But the big thing is Sandman. That's pretty awesome. I per I personally love the character of the Sandman. And it's kind of cool that they're giving him his own movie. Because personally, he's pretty badass. But post Just League, as I like to call it, the, the Phase 1. Phase 2 will feature a solo Wonder Woman movie. And a possible Flash slash Green Lantern team-up movie. And of course, the official Man of Steel 2 sequel. Because, as as everyone knows, and as for some people who find it unfortunate, Man of Steel 2 is not Batman vs. Superman. That's, that's the first thing you guys need to realize. Batman vs. Superman is a crossover movie. It's not a... It, it will take place after the events of Man of Steel, but it's not an official sequel. It's a crossover movie. So, some people don't like it. Some people like it. Personally, it doesn't bother me. I mean, it's Batman vs. Superman. Why are we bitching? But anyways, it's kind of cool that uh, post Just League will finally get the official Man of Steel sequel, so we can get some more awesome awesomeness of Superman. But personally, this lineup is pretty badass. I mean, I, I kind of getting off the fact that they're not going with the more conventional 
team um, lineup of Just League, which will be like let's say the official that lineup that everyone is recognizable with, which is of course uh, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, uh, Green Lantern, Flash, uh, Hawkman, and Aquaman and Martian Manhunter. That's the official lineup that most people are, are more experienced with. And then you have the new Fifty Two, which is of course Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Cyborg, Flash. Green Lantern, Aquaman, and of course, that's pretty much it. Personally, uh, the lineup, if, if Shazam Sandman actually get featured in Just League, that would be kind of badass. So, based off, if this is all official, then again, for, first off, it's all alleged, so don't get don't get all snippy and pissed off at me yet, but it's all um, alleged, but it will be kind of cool that that's the lineup for the eventual Just League movie after Batman vs. Superman. It would be kind of cool, you know, you have... Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Cyborg, Shazam, and the Sandman, and possibly Aquaman, because it's it's still a rumor, because they haven't, you know, they haven't really done any concrete, like, official news with the character, but supposedly Aquaman will be featured in Just League, so that's, that's kind of really cool to look forward to. So, it's possible that Aquaman will be part of the Just League, but he might just have a minor role. But personally, that's a cool lineup. It's very, it's definitely not the conventional or traditional um, lineup that we're used to, but it, se it seems pretty badass of a lineup. And then, after that, we can feature other characters, you know, like Flash and Green Lantern, and hopefully, like, Green Arrow and Hawkman and, and Martian Manhunter and stuff like that. That's something I personally like to see. But, based off lineup... Every, every all these movies will be featured a year apart from each other. Like the, um, Batman vs Superman, Shazam, and Sandman will all be featured in 2016. Just League, w the solo Wonder Woman movie, and the supposed Flash slash Green Lantern team up movie will be featured in 2017. And then Man of Steel 2 will be uh, the following year. So personally, that that all seems cool and interesting. Is it true? Personally, I don't really know if it's true. Uh, the sources that came up with this list and came up with this news is very reliable, so I, I don't want to like go against what they're saying because it. But then again, it is all alleged. So and plus, Warner Brothers can always change their minds on something. You know, I'm pretty sure right after the movie airs, like Batman vs Superman and P and fans are like obsessed with Ben Affleck's Batman. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a Ben Affleck Batman movie solo movie, which. Well, inevitable, which is inevitable. I mean, like, I'm pretty sure we will get a new solo Batman movie eventually once this is all blown over. So, I'm pretty sure it's in the works. It's one of those things that, of course, you're going to do it. You know, it just, it's all a matter of timing. But, personally, I personally love the fact that they're introducing characters that we're not fully familiar with. I mean, I, I personally love the idea of a Sandman movie. That's personally badass, in my opinion. And Shazam, Captain Marvel, that's just badass. Hopefully, we get to see some Dwayne The Rock Johnson in that movie. I personally would like to see him. If they do follow up with a Shazam movie, I want to see him in there. I don't care which character, if he's a hero or villain, I want to see him in there. That will be badass. But personally, all these movies are not complete out of the realm of possibility it's all possible in their own way I, I i would personally like to see man of steel 2 come out like after just league that's my personal opinion but i guess what they're trying to do is flesh out the universe and you know feature characters that we're not used to seeing like you know flash green lantern shazam sandman and even wonder woman you know we've seen superman and batman thousands of times in every word in the sense every sense of the word so personally it doesn't bother me but what do you guys think do you think this this news is relevant do you think it's true do you think it's false do you think it's all rumored alleged bullshit personally and do you think it makes sense and personally do you like the fact that they're doing a Shazam Sandman um solo movies and a Flash Green Lantern team up movie personally all that is cool in my opinion I love the fact that they're doing that it's in my opinion, pretty cool. I mean, I I would love to see that Sandman movie. That's like if they I, if Shazam sucks, I, I'm I would look over for Sandman because that's where the shit is. That's that's something I would love to see. But personally, what do you guys think of that list? Of course, it's all alleged, but it's it's not out of the realm of possibility. You guys got to remember that because Warner Brothers is making a cinematic universe with DC Comics. 
So, of course, it's in the works. It's eventually going to happen, whether you like it or not. And personally, Batman vs. Superman and Justice League Justice League are going to be filmed back-to-back. -back. Zack Snyder is directing both at the same time. So, it makes sense that they would be, you know, shown a year apart from each other. And personally, I cannot wait. I fucking want to see a Shazam movie. I want to see a Sandman movie. I can't wait for Batman vs. Superman. And personally, a Flash uh, Green Lantern team-up. Sounds pretty cool. That, that's kind of badass. Like they, they should do more of that. Team up movies. Fuck it. Marvel has their way of doing things. And as much as most fans would want DC to, to follow their route, personally, that sounds cooler. Team up movies. Fuck it. You know every. You know every now and then we do solo movies, and then boom, we have a team up movie. A Batman, Superman, Flash, Green Lantern, and then next you can have like, I don't know, Captain Atom and Hawkman. That would be fucking. That's fucking. You know the possibilities are just going to be fucking all over the place of, like, uh, scenarios and coolness, so. Overall, the Just League slash DC Cinematic Universe map has been planned. All we have to do is speculate as to which will be successful and awesome. Personally, I'm looking forward to all of it. Of course, we all have to remember it's all alleged and possibility, and, and the possibility of Warner Brothers changing their minds with their list will change, but overall, it's cool. If this is If this comes out to be true, after Batman vs. Superman, I'm all for it. But what do you guys think? And that's going to be it for John Tucker 12. And hope you guys enjoyed.